Welcome to day two of the Miami Boat Show. We'll do a few boat tours today and just enjoy the event. All right, it's day two of the Miami Boat Show and we are headed to the convention center. At convention centers where they really have all the accessories and like like little small boats, like dinghies and you know all that stuff. So uh, go there and well, mostly just kind of talk to vendors and uh, network. All right, well, I'm excited for you to show me around. Long shuttle ride. Yeah, that was. <laughs> That's the thing I don't like about Miami Boat Show. It takes like 45 minutes to get between it and venues. Yeah, it did. There was traffic, and it seems like it could maybe be more efficient, but I don't know. Yeah. Look at all the toys. I think we need that flamingo. I think that we could uh, fit that on the Sea Ray, though. I would take up the entire inside of the Sea Ray. Yeah, it's worth it. Totally. So, first things first, Ooh. we're gonna eat, and then we'll play with all the toys. I'm so excited for this brisket sandwich and mac and cheese. Woo! All right, now that we're nice and full, it's time to move on to the main event. We're gonna visit our friends at Highfield. See if we can spot Bobby's new dinghy. And sure enough, we found it, the Sport 360. After visiting Highfield, we made our way upstairs to the accessories. So we just left the convention center and are about to get on the shuttles to get to the water taxi, which will then take us over to the, what is it, like power boats? That's where we're going to. We're going to the power boats. All right, we made it over to the power boats. Let's do a couple tours. I'm not sure why, but I keep shocking Pardon. everyone very aggressively. Like there's a lot of static. Ah! <laughs> I'm electric. <laughs> I mean, we should just hold on to each other. <laughs> so one of our friends is actually looking at the Aquilas, so we're gonna do a little boat tour. Yeah, he's gonna he's looking at buying a 54. 54. Okay. This is Le uh, Leonard, by the way. Hello. All right, on we go. The Aquila was my favorite boat that we saw at this boat show. Just look at the design. The fridge is huge. This galley is amazing. Entertainment spaces are so versatile. Gotta love it. He says the master is awesome, so let's check that out. That's nice. Oh, man. On this boat, there is a giant master cabin forward with tons of storage space on the port side down below. Look at how big this closet is. There's also a desk on this side and starboard, there is a spacious dry head with two sinks and a lovely shower. The flybridge has a nice big enclosure, which makes it very comfortable and climate controlled. There's lots of entertaining space and a Portuguese bridge that even wraps all the way around. There are two large guest cabins on this boat that both feel like master cabins. They each have a dry head and a desk. Pretty nice. This is the I'm lost on the boat. I think this is the four like a guest cabin. It's very roomy. The master was super roomy. Next we made our way over to the other guest cabin, which is very similar, but a little bit smaller to accommodate the aft crew cabin. So this is the port side guest cabin and it's still very spacious even though I think it is the smallest cabin on the boat 
There's, you even have like a desk and a walkway and a nice dry hat. Looking at this, it seems really comfortable. Really nice finish out. Lastly, there's a crew cabin with all the essentials. grab a drink and then probably head over to see some more boats. All right, we're gonna go check out a leopard now. See which one's better. This is the leopard 46. We're gonna check out the 53, but there's there's something going on over there. Aft is the galley with lots of storage space and a full-size fridge and freezer. Then there's a forward comfortable salon with a helm station inside and a door leading to the forward deck. On the port side, we have two guest cabins separated by a washer dryer. Down on the starboard side, you have an impressive master cabin. There's a nice workstation and then a comfortable bed. Down this way, we have the massive dry head. There's a double vanity sink and then a large shower. The flybridge is another great entertaining space with the main helm station. It really feels like you could entertain well over a dozen guests up here. This space includes a wet bar and a grill. Okay, it's beer 30 and lunchtime. After lunch, we decided we would see one more boat, the Two Oceans 555. We just stopped by for a quick walkthrough, but it was obvious that this is a great entertaining space. a door leading out to the forward deck where there's both U-shaped seating and lounge seats. Heading down on the port side, we'll see two guest cabins. This forward cabin has plenty of storage and a queen size bed. Each have their own dry head with plenty of counter space. There's an elegant master cabin on the starboard side, along with one more guest cabin on this particular layout. Last but not least, there's the flybridge. This nice big helm station is right by a door that leads to the forward lounge chairs. And of course, there's additional seating up top around a few different tables. There's also a wet bar under a big TV. All right, that completes day two of the Miami Boat Show 2024 for us. We had a blast and I hope you guys enjoy the boat tours. I believe we will be back tomorrow and now we're just gonna go grab some lunch with friends and we'll see you on the next one.